nonviolence that we used to see every Wednesday morning down in Eaton Prairie at the Alliant uh, Weapons Manufacturing Place. We, we said this pledge every Wednesday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning, come hell or high water, and they both came many times, but we, we were there. So we'll be in memory of them. same drawer that contains the flat earth theory. This is from Carl, Carol Rittner. In the face of human suffering, silence always helps those who cause the suffering, never the victim. Good men and women, except in prisons. Wait, Henry, wait, David, wait, yeah. Henry David Thoreau. Right <laughs> A government that is evil has no room for good men and women, except in prisons. Henry David Thoreau. Amen. Peace, you must actually give your life not just your possessions. When you at last give your life, bring into alignment your beliefs and the way you live them, then, and only then, can you begin to find inner peace. Morally, it makes no difference 
whether a person is killed in war or condemned to starve by the indifference of others. Willie Brandt. We can't become nonviolent on the basis of intellectual conviction. Commitment to nonviolence demands a very profound conversion of mind and heart. are forcing even their friends into becoming their enemies. It is curious that Americans calculate so carefully on the possibilities of military victory do not realize that in the process they are incurring deep psychological and political defeat. The image of America will never again be the image of revolution So, you know, I can't, couldn't find myself a Buddhist. A Buddhist. All I know is he's a Buddhist. So that's pretty good. Okay, now let's see. What else are we able to do? Oh, um, I thought maybe, uh, does anybody just want to go around and at least say their name and where they're from? And if you have anything else significant, you can say that too. But, uh... We want to know like where people are from, who they are. Say your name real loud, Bob. <laughs> Bob Dammon. This is my 50th anniversary anniversary of my service on the ground in Vietnam. Oh, thank you. And where are you from? Sudan, Minnesota. Pat Dammon, wife, Sudan, Minnesota. <laughs> Larry Fisk, Fort Ripley, about three miles that direction. Rifa Dooley, Sock Center. I've been at this a long time. A long time. Fort Davis, Sock Center. Uh, interesting to be here. I spent six summers here at Camp Ripley for summer camp. Hi, Hoover, Richville, Minnesota. Ann Martinson, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I would like to make a suggestion that after we are done here, that everybody gather behind the vets signs for a group photo. We have several photographers. We can get the whole group. And then after that, if the Wham people could just stay in a group and we'll get that picture. So Let's do that. Mary Lou Ott, and I'm from Minneapolis. Colleen Raleigh, Apple Valley, Minnesota. Judy Schiller, 50 Lakes, Minnesota. Richard Schiller, 50 Lakes. North of Brainerd. North of Brainerd. Oh, nice. uh, Jane McDonald, and my address is Planet Earth, Holy Mother Earth. <laughs> we have that in common, and it it counts. Peace. <laughs> Bruce Sumber, Garrison, Minnesota. Uh, Sarah Martin, Minneapolis Wham. It's wonderful being with all of you here today and thank you Robin and the Brainerd Peace Group for organizing this once again. Yes. 
Michael Bailey, Minneapolis. Pat Scott Brainerd. I've been in uh, marches for peace since I was a kid with wow. my mom in the Women's Mother's March for Peace. All right, mother. Uh, Regina Burcham from Minneapolis with WAM and Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, 100 years old. Steve Clemens, Minneapolis. Cat Byres, Ideal Corners, Pequot Lakes, Minnesota. I'm Gail Nielsen, and I too live three miles over that way. Wow. Um, Seeing the drones fly off yeah, base. Yeah, yeah. Saw the drones off base last Sunday. On Grouse Road, so did yep. some people that live out there. They said they see them all the time. Barry Reed, St. Paul, Minnesota. Bruce Berry, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and child of the world. Craig Wood, Minneapolis. Just want to say we're out here with our drone signs, and if you didn't know, the global market for drones is already starting to exceed eight billion dollars. It's expected to go to increase uh, four times that amount in the next ten years. We need to get serious about stopping these things. Well, I'm here with Pache Benny, and we're creating culture of peace so that we can change the dialogue on how to kill to how to talk to each other, how to get along, since we're all here on this little tiny planet together. And you are? Oh, I'm Susu Jeffrey from Minneapolis. Thank you. I'm Bridget McDonald, and originally I'm from Watertown, Minnesota, which is just a little town down there, but now I'm from St. Paul. And uh, like I always like what Minnie Pearl says, I'm just as proud to be here. So this is a good place to be this very day, and, and so I uh, thank the people for organizing. Thank you. And I'm Robin Hensel, Little Falls, and you all know me. <laughs> yes, we do, Rob. Thanks for the sandwiches. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and we actually had a toot from the military truck moving oh, in support. Yeah. We get a lot of drive-by tooting on the Lake Street Bridge in, in St. Paul, too. Uh, every Wednesday, we're it's at the Lake Street Bridge. We and Oh, Minneapolis. It's, we'll call it the Marsh Lake. <laughs> Because it's it's right in the middle of the in the bridge. It's changes to Lake Street. Little Minneapolis St. Paul arrival. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's say, what? Well, let's just say number eleven on your sheet. I'm going to lay down my and let's say guns and bombs because we don't use swords and shields. So let's lay down our guns and bombs and drones. We can say drones. Oh, my God. 